Do not be scared when you hear of familiar spirits because you are far above them. The Bible says in Mark 16, 17, that you have been given the authority to cast out devils because you are a believer. Familiar spirits are spirits that serve the devil and his cohorts. You do not need to be fearful because you have been given a victory already in Christ. No power can hurt you or have dominion over you. They're under your feet as they are being trampled upon. The word of God says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This is the authority that we have been given in the name of Jesus. We will use that authority that we have in the name of Jesus to expel familiar spirits in our families and our communities. Do not be casual as we make these prayers together against familiar spirits. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all familiar spirits that are working against your progress are bound and cast into the abbeys. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree the familiar spirits that have been employed to work against your breakthrough in all areas of your life are exposed and disgraced. I send forth confusion into the camp of the powers of darkness that have devised to use familiar spirits to police your life in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus that you all manifest the dominion that you have against the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. I decree that the forces of darkness that are plotting to use familiar spirits to bring stagnation into your life are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be behind in all areas of your life as a result of attack by familiar spirits. I speak forth the word of God into areas of your life that have been destabilized by the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I shoot forth the arrows of God to scatter familiar spirits that are bent on frustrating all of your efforts that will yield tangible results. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all powers of darkness that are connived together to make your life a mess are sent into the bottomless pit. I decree that you begin to walk in the dominion that you have in the name of Jesus to cast out all familiar spirits in your family and in the lives of your loved ones. You will not be made a non-entity in life due to the activities of familiar spirits in the name of Jesus. I decree that the blessings of God in your life will not be hindered by the devil and his cohorts. I decree that you have four signs and wonders and no force of darkness can prevent this from happening in the name of Jesus. You will mount up on eagle's wings above all the devices of the powers of the enemies in the name of Jesus. And by that power that's in the name of Jesus, you will not be frustrated and oppressed by familiar spirits. I also decree that familiar spirits would not make you labor hard and get little results in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are loosed from the shackles of oppression and suppression. You will never be limited by the powers of familiar spirits and by the power in the name of Jesus. You will not be distracted by them that want you to shift focus from the things that are expedient into things that are trivial. I decree according to the word of God in Psalm 35 verse 1 that says that God will fight against those that fight against you. I decree that God will begin to fight against familiar spirits that want you to live an empty life on earth in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you are above the schemes of spirits that have been sent to fight against you. I plead the blood of Jesus upon all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you and all members of your family are exempted from the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be disgraced and embarrassed by familiar spirits. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.
Amen. An unclean spirit is a disembodied spirit that is very wicked in nature and it derives pleasure in wrecking havoc in the lives of its victims. Unclean spirits are also demons that hate God and would do anything to usurp the will of God in the lives of his children. They also are in charge of causing illnesses, accidents, strange ailments, premature death, poverty, retrogression, lack of stagnation and every other thing that is against the will of God in the lives of God's children. They also often take possession of a man's body if the man opens the doorway for them. This is the foremost reason you have to be mindful of what you hear and see as demons feed on lustful things. Guard your heart with all diligence for out of it proceeds the issue of life. We will be binding and casting unclean spirits that want to oppress and suppress you, which is against the will of God for you. The Bible says in Matthew 16, 19, you have been given the keys of the kingdom that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Do not be scared of them because the word of God made it clear in Luke 10 verse 19 that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. They dare not touch you because you have been named with the name of Christ. So let us exercise our authority against unclean spirits by faith with violence. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all demonic forces that are fighting against you and your family are arrested and put in their rightful place. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I put all demonic forces that are against the progress of your family bound and cast into the abbeys. You will not be limited by demonic forces that are warring against your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, Colossians 1.13 says he has delivered us from the the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Since you have been delivered from the kingdom of darkness, you're free from the oppression and suppression of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will fight against those that fight against you. I call on the help of God to fight against all demonic forces that are fighting against you and your family in the name of Jesus. Since Jesus Christ in Colossians 2.15 has disarmed principalities and powers and he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it, the victory that Jesus Christ won over 2,000 years ago will be made perfect in your life and families in the name of Jesus. The evil seeds and clean spirit have sown in your life and family are uprooted right now in Jesus' name. For this reason, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. I decree that the Lord would expose and destroy the works of demonic activity in your life and in your families. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will silence all the powers of darkness in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. As Revelation 12, 11 says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and the, by the power of our testimonies. I pray for you right now that you will triumph over the works of unclean spirits by the blood of Jesus and by the words of your testimony and by the words of your confession in the name of Jesus. I destroy all the pieces of machinery of demons against you and your family in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family. And I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the attacks of demonic activities in the name of Jesus. I flush out all the negative patterns. Demonic forces have planted in your family and your life. At the mention of the name of Jesus, all unclean spirits that are subtly operating in your family will bow this instant now in the name of Jesus. You will never be struck by the arrows of darkness and death 
shut by the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 32 verse 7 says that the Lord will be your hiding place and he will preserve you from the trouble and will also surround you with songs of deliverance. I pray that the Lord will hide you under his sacred place, away from the attack of unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34, 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear the Lord and delivers them. I decree right now that the angel of the Lord will encamp round about you and keep you safe from the manipulation of demonic activities in your life and family. I release the fire of the Lord around about you to keep you far from the fiery darts of unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. There are powers of darkness that are assigned to monitor believers' progress and impede it. These forces of darkness have aged and scattered everywhere and they go about frustrating the will of God in the life of a man or woman. That is why sometimes a man or a woman will find him or herself going around in a circle and these powers are responsible for it. You have the authority in the name of Jesus to come against these powers. The Bible says in Luke 10 verse 19 that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, nothing shall by any means hurt you. We will be utilizing the authority that we have to deal with these powers of darkness. Join me as we pray together in faith against these forces. Let's pray. By the power in the name of Jesus, I destroy all the devices of the wicked ones against you and all your family in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 81 verse 14, God would quickly subdue your enemies and turn your hand against your adversaries. In the name of Jesus, I decree that God will subdue all the enemies that are assigned to monitor your progress in the name of Jesus. Psalm 143 verse 12 says, God in his love and kindness will cut off all your enemies and destroy all those who afflict your soul. I decree that the Lord will cut off all the enemies that are bent on frustrating the will of God for you from coming into fusion and he will destroy all those that are afflicting your soul in Jesus name. In Luke 174, God says God will rescue you from the hand of your enemies so that you will serve him without fear. I pray for you that the Lord will rescue you even now from the hands of monitoring spirits so that you will serve him without fear. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I invoke the judgment of God upon the enemies that are monitoring your progress in order to impede it. And I prophesy that the Lord will shoot forth his arrows to hurt the evil ones that are positioned to make you stagnant in the name of Jesus. Exodus 14, 14 says, God will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The Lord will begin to fight against powers that are monitoring your progress and that of your families in Jesus name and in that name I shatter all the devices of monitoring spirits that are using to watch your progress I decree over you that your hand shall be upon the neck of your enemies and the evil ones will bow to you in the name of Jesus and I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume all the types of machinery of the wicked ones that are using against you in the the name of Jesus the Bible in Micah 5 9 says your hands will be lifted up against your enemies and all your enemies will be cut off I therefore decree over you that your hands will be strengthened to fight and conquer the enemies that are round about you and all the monitoring spirits in your lineage are cut 
off in the name of Jesus. All your enemies that have said that nothing good will come out of you will be covered with shame and they will be trampled upon in Jesus' name. The word of God in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7 says, The Lord will inflict curses on your enemies and on those that who hate you. I pray for you that the Lord will inflict curses on monitoring agents that are assigned to monitor you and impede your progress in Jesus name according to Psalm 6 verse 10 and it says all your enemies will be ashamed and greatly confused they shall turn back and be suddenly ashamed and that is my prayer for you right now that all the wicked ones that are monitoring your progress in life are put into shame and they will be utterly confused in the name of Jesus the Lord will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus and all the monitoring agents that are working against you will be like smoke that is driven away by the wind in Jesus name you will not lose any of your possessions or loved ones to the wicked ones in Jesus name first Thessalonians 1 6 says it is a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you the Lord will begin to trouble your troublers in the name of Jesus and by the power in that name I release you from the clutches of monitoring spirits in Jesus name we bless you Lord for answering our prayers for it is in Jesus name that we have prayed there are specific powers that are functional under the deep seas and they project evil onto the earth they are demonic powers and they do evil under the waters. They sometimes send their agents as humans to the earth to cause catastrophe in the life of anyone they encounter. The word of God says in Ephesians 6.12 that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Our battle is not a carnal one, but a spiritual one, and we have to fight with the consciousness that we have been made more than a conqueror already in Christ. The Word of God also says in Job 22 verse 8, You will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you, and light will shine upon your parts. Use the efficacy and potency that is in the power of your tongue as you come against the powers of darkness that are projecting evil from the deep seas upon your life. So let's pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I come against all the powers that are projecting evil against you and your family from the deep seas. I destroy all the devices of marine agents that they are using to manipulate you and your family in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Colossians 1.13 that God has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his dear son. I decree that your deliverance against marine powers is complete in Christ Jesus. You have the light of God inside of you. Therefore, your light shines and exposes the subtle activities of marine spirits in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in James 4, 7, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you receive the grace to submit to God, to resist the devil, so that all the powers of darkness will flee from you. I pray that you will put on the whole armor of God for you to be able to resist the attacks of the powers from the marine kingdom in the name of Jesus. Hebrews 2 14 says that Jesus became a man so that through his death he might render powerless him who had the power of death. Who is the devil? The Lord has delivered you from the powers of marine powers because he has rendered their master, the devil, powerless. Romans 16 20 says that God will crush Satan under your feet and therefore pray that the Lord will crush all the marine powers that are assigned to trouble you and your family in the name of Jesus. Colossians 2 15 says that the Lord made a public spectacle of the devil since the devil was disgraced by Jesus over 2,000 years ago. 
I decree that all the marine powers that are guarded against you are disgraced in the name of Jesus. And in that power, I come against all the powers of darkness that are working against you from the deep blue sea. The Lord will fight for you against the forces of darkness that are orchestrating evil against you and your family from those deep waters. And in the name of Jesus, I engage the ministry of angels to war against marine agents that are disguised as friends and neighbors. There is peace for you in all ramifications. And I decree that the powers from the marine kingdom will not steal it in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord would hide you under his wings and shield you from the attacks and manipulations of marine spirits in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all the members of your family. I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the evil that the powers of the marine kingdom have projected into the day in the name of Jesus. And I pray that all of your possessions that are in the hands of marine powers are restored back to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. You will not be a casualty of the manipulations and the attacks of marine spirits in the name of Jesus because I shoot forth the arrows of God to discomfit the powers that have been sent from them to trouble you and your family. By the reason of the anointing that is at work in you, all yokes of bondage that have been placed on you and your family by these spirits are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You walk in the freedom that Jesus Christ has handed down to you in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for answering our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. There are certain altars erected by the evil ones against you in order to send evil things that are contrary to the will of God for you. These altars can be dismantled by you because you have the authority to do that and the forces of darkness dare not hurt you. The altars that are set up against you are no bigger and stronger than the name of Jesus that is in your possession. The word of God says in Philippians 2.10 at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Appropriate the name of Jesus today in pulling down all the strongholds of the enemies. Job 22, 28 says, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your path. We will come against these altars by faith and with boldness. So let us pray in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pull down all demonic altars erected over you and your family. And I pray for you that all illegitimate altars that are projecting failure and delay in your life are scattered in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 1.10 says, See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. By the power in the name of Jesus, I begin to break into pieces all the evil altars erected over you and your family. I destroy all their devices and I uproot all the evil things that are contrary to the will of God that have been laid upon those altars against you in Jesus' name. There is no other foundation laid other than that which was laid by the Lord Jesus. And so I decree that any other foundation other than that which is laid by the Lord Jesus in your life and families are dismantled in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord will fall and roast all evil priests that are legislating over evil altars the enemies are using to project evil into your life. The Bible says in Matthew 15, 13, every plant that my father has not planted will be rooted out. I therefore begin to uproot all evil plantations in your life. I send the angel of the Lord to break into pieces all the altars of wickedness set up over you and your family. And I release any member of your family that is under the bondage of evil altars. I decree that the Lord would fight against all the wicked ones that are in charge of evil altars against your life and you will hold your peace. 
anything that has been stolen from you by the priests of evil altars are released and I command the release right now in Jesus name the word of God says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you right now I pray for you that you are energized to pull down and dismantle all the altars of the wicked ones even in your life and your families you are strengthened and your strength will not fail you in warring against oppression of the wicked ones against your family in the mighty name of Jesus you will stay at the altar of the Lord God instead of being held captive by the altar of wickedness we are God's battle axe that's what the scripture says and his weapon of war we therefore begin to dismantle the altars of the wicked ones as the Bible says in Leviticus 26 verse 30 I then will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars and heap on the remains of your idols for my soul shall abhor you. This is the word of the Lord against the wicked ones and their altars and it will stand whether they like it or not. The altar of the evil ones will be exposed even if it is subtle in operation in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord destroys all altars and idols that are subtle in operation in your life and families you will wait patiently on the altar of the lord and not the altar of the wicked ones in jesus name i decree an end to every form of demonic manipulations that stem from activities of evil priests that are legislating over evil altars against you and your family the name of the Lord Jesus will be exalted above all altars, even in your life now and forevermore in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will not unconsciously service the altar of darkness anymore in Jesus' name. We we'll bless you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Glory to your name, Lord, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. When God remembers you, your story will change overnight and people will begin to wonder how you did it and how it happened. God remembered Jacob and in a few months he recovered all the wages his uncle Laban withheld from him. God also remembered Sarah and opened her womb and she bore Isaac, the covenant child. Do not think that the Lord has forgotten you. He can never be a man that has a short memory and neither does he lie. I don't know that area of your life where you need the Lord's remembrance. I bring you good news. The good news is that the set time for your remembrance is here and it is now. The word of God says that he will turn your captivity around and you will be like those who dream. Are you ready for the Lord's remembrance today? If you are, join me as we pray together in faith. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for always remembering us for good at all times. We give you the praise, Lord, for looking down at us with your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, your word says in Psalm 136 verses 23, God remembered us when we are down. His love never fails by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and all members of your family that the Lord will remember you all for good and his love would never fail in your life. I pray for you that all those people the Lord has ordained to help you and have forgotten about you. I pray that the Lord will stir their hearts and cause them to remember you for good in the name of Jesus. I release the angel of the Lord that will bring good news to you. I decree that they will begin to work for you in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. And I pray that the good work that God has started in your life will be completed even until the day of Christ. I decree over you that the Lord would arise in his mercy and restore to you the things that the enemies stole from you in Jesus' name. And in that great name I decree over you that men would no longer forget the good things that you have done. All your good deeds are rewarded even now in the name of Jesus. 
I stand on the word of God and I decree that you would not die without being remembered for good. I put all the right mechanisms in place and I pray that from today, all things begin to work for you, for your good in your life in Jesus name. You are no longer relegated to point zero as the Lord will remember you for good and cause your efforts to yield tangible results in Jesus name. In any place you have been rejected and denied access, I pray that you will be accepted because the Lord has taken pleasure in you and he has remembered you for good in Jesus' mighty name. I scatter all the wicked ones that are going around to sow the seeds of forgetfulness in the hearts of your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to release a double measure of mercy and goodness over your life. And these will help you to be remembered by kings and influential people in the society. I pray that those that are owing you and have refused to pay you, the dividend of your labor are troubled and they will begin to give to you what is rightfully yours in Jesus name. There is no more death for you in your finance as the Lord is remembering you for good and he will cause an overflow of your resources for you and your family. The Lord will touch you with his mighty hand and cause a mighty turn around in your life to the point that nations will envy you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the prayer that you are still expecting answers to are answered as the Lord has remembered you for good. You would not be stranded in all areas of your life. The Lord would always come through for you when you desperately need help in Jesus name. You are favored, blessed, promoted and glorified in the name of Jesus and I release the angels of goodness mercy and favor to begin to work for you the will of the Lord will be perfected in all facets of your life in Jesus name I have prayed thank you Lord for answering our prayers because we know it's done in Jesus name amen there is safety for you and your family because they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The enemies will always try so hard to make sure that you leave the secret place of the Most High so that you will be vulnerable to his attacks. Fear not, for he who is on your side is more than they that are on the other side. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 4, God will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and wall. You are covered and shielded from all the traps of the wicked ones. Do not be scared of the devices of the powers of darkness against you. We will be praying for protection and safety for you and all members of your household. And so let us pray together with faith and in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the confidence that we have even in you. That when we ever come to you, you are ever ready to listen to us. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray and declare and everyone under the sound of my voice, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you safe from all the traps of the wicked ones in Jesus name. Psalm 23 verses 2 to 4 say that the Lord will lead you beside the still waters. He will guide you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and his staff will comfort you. I decree over you and your family that all these will be your portion and that of your families in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in Psalm 25 verses 20 to 21, you will be secured and guarded by the Lord and you will not be ashamed for the Lord will be your refuge. The Lord would always be your ever present help in times of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 34 18 says that the Lord will save those who are crushed in the spirit. I pray for you that any way you might be low in spirit, you will be saved by the Lord in Jesus name. He will hide you in the day in his tabernacle in the day of trouble. 
He will hide you in a secret place and he will lift you up on a rock in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 55 2 says that you should cast your burden to the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. I pray for you and your family that you will cast your burden to the Lord and as you do that, he will sustain you in all areas of your life. The Lord will be your light and salvation. You will not fear. The Lord will be the strength of your life and you will not be afraid of what the wicked ones can do against you. You will always lift up your eyes to the hill because that is where your help will come from the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Lord will always watch over you in your going out and your coming in throughout this year. And I pray also that the Lord will be the shade on your right hand. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked that are guarded against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you from all evil. He will also preserve your soul in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 4 verse 8 that you will lie down and sleep for the Lord will cause you to dwell in safety. I pray for you today that any time you lie down to sleep, the Lord will make you to sleep in peace and you will not be attacked by the evil ones. You will always take refuge in the secret place of the Most High in the name of Jesus. As you have taken refuge in the Lord, you will never be put to shame. I pray for you that any time you call upon the name of the Lord, He will arise and save you from the mouth of the wicked ones. He will be your strength and shield. I also pray for you that you will always put your trust in Him. I pray for you. That the Lord will rescue you from those who attack you and will keep you secured from the snares of the trappers in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that even though you walk in the midst of trouble, the Lord will revive you and keep you safe and the Lord will reach out with his mighty hands against the wrath of your enemies. The Lord's right hand will always save you in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for answering all our prayers. And we rejoice awaiting the answers. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.